The art style already screams Tower of Fantasy. Already. Oh! Oh, wow. Please tell me they're gonna have a bunch of, uh, voice packs. For example, I want Japanese voice acting for this. The digital frontier at my fingertips. I feel like she's gonna be the chosen one on default. Dude, I love battle royales, but I especially love anime-style battle royales. Even though there's none to this very day, I don't believe. This is already interesting. What? Oh, I do apologize. Oh, don't step on me, Bobby! Wait, what? So, at the end of the day, this is like an Overwatch anime battle royale, and every character has its own abilities. Time to walk the clouds. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I've got to go back. Mm. Mm. Oh, her outfit's fine. I'm one with the waves. Yeah, I can already tell this is already a mobile battle royale, but it looks so cool. I can feel the rhythm of your heart. Okay, hold on. She looks cool. I don't know, something about waifus with eye patches and long hair, bangs over their face or whatever, just looks so attractive. And I like how she has a different color on the inside of her hair. So like on the inside she has blue, but on, on top or whatever is black. We can drive vehicles. So just like PUBG, just like PUBG, bro. Ha! Ah! Hovering cars in a battle royale game? That is going to make your movement so fluid and bouncy, bro. Black Ops 6 thought they were gonna be a game changer. And now we got this. This is already a game changer. Well, I'm not sure if it's like technically Omni movement, but it looks just like how you prone down and turn around and lay on your back type of thing with the Omni movement in Black Ops 6. Now, a game like Rainbow Six Siege was like one of the first ones to implement this type of movement or like, you know, prone feature. You lay on your stomach and face the front, or if you wanna be on the Back of the wall, turn around, and you lay on your back. Flashbang out! Okay, what I really like about the storm is that it looks like some type of aura. Instead of just like some gas or some purple storm like in Fortnite or Warzone, for example. Or just like a blue ring like in PUBG. This has the aura. This has the aura, bro. Wait, so when the zone closes, it turns into frost? The land just turns into snow and ice and frost or something? Bro just committed a venti move. 
closed alpha on September 25th. List now on Steam. So it is coming to Steam, coming to PlayStation, Xbox, Steam, Epic Game Store, Apple, and Android. Bro, this game's already cooking. They're adding Xbox to the list. Name a gotcha game where Xbox is included day one. Zero. None of them. Do I play Xbox? Hell no. I don't even have an Xbox. But I believe that this is what the players need right now. Full cross-platform. Now, people are going to be asking, well, why not Nintendo Switch? Where's Nintendo Switch in this? Like, there's no single gotcha game that ever comes to the Nintendo Switch. But here's the answer for that. This game runs on Unreal Engine 5. Unreal Engine 5 is graphically demanding. And we all know that the Nintendo Switch is not compatible with a lot of games in this generation that could run max graphics at 60 FPS. Any third-party game or AAA game, let's just say that, AAA game from other consoles being ported into an like a Nintendo Switch mainly gets lower graphics and a 24 to 30 FPS limit because it can't handle those games. It was meant to be for like all generation graphics if if you get me. The Nintendo Switch was mainly built off of the Nintendo Wii U hardware in a portable handheld. And we all know that the Nintendo Wii U is similar to the graphics of an Xbox 360 and a PS3. So you can tell right off the bat from that information that the hardware is just incompatible and outdated. So that is one of the main reasons why Nintendo Switch will never be able to play something like this. Nintendo Switch is just not compatible for Unreal Engine 5 gameplay. And if they were to put on it, be prepared for buggy gameplay. This, I believe, exceeds my expectations. Yahoo!